This is Hubwood. Hey everyone, today we are going to compare the gaming performance of the new Core Ultra 7 155H when combined with 16GB versus 32GB of RAM. For this test I was using the same Acer Swift Go 14 laptop and manually kept the maximum RAM size via Windows to make the test as fair as possible. And we'll directly start with two games that actually crashed in the used configuration of which the first was Assassin's Creed Valhalla at 1080p and high settings which ran around 16% faster with 32GB resulting in 29 over 25 FPS. But almost every time I ran the benchmark with the 16GB configuration, the benchmark crashed in the second half. At least on high settings, which of course uses more RAM in general. Now, I know most people wouldn't probably use high settings in that case, so I also tested Baldur's Gate 3 at low settings with ultra textures and FSR on performance. Now, the RAM usage difference is huge with around 16 to 23 gigabytes. The 32 gigabyte config ran significantly better with 42 over 32 FPS. The bad 1% lows are usually caused by some seldom severe stutters, which aren't that much of a problem in this game actually. Though the 16 gigabyte system just crashed after a moment of running around in Act 3 because the game itself really needs RAM. I've had similar issues on the Legion Go and the ROG Ally when setting the VRAM size to 8, leaving only 8GB for Windows and the game, which just isn't enough. The difference in Cyberpunk 2077 was pretty high as well, with around 22% more FPS for the 32GB system, resulting in 28 over 23 FPS at 1080p and medium settings without any upscaling technology activated. Forza Horizon 5 ran around 10% faster on the 32GB configuration with 44 over 40 FPS at 1080p and the high preset. As some of you already stated multiple times now, yeah, I know that ETA Prime did get so much better results for Forza Horizon 5 on his MSI Claw unit with the same CPU. So either I have been measuring this game just wrong multiple times on multiple laptops or he has or the MSI Claw is just having much better drivers already or the numbers have been dictated by either MSI or Intel. In fact, the only way to find out is to wait until it's released, okay? Even though the 32GB config was using more than 4GB more of the RAM, the difference was marginal, if existent at all, for Far Cry 6 at the high preset. 37 versus 38 FPS is most likely within the margin of error and the iGPU is not held back by the RAM size in this case. The RAM usage difference was insane for Hogwarts Legacy as you can see here. Almost 10 GB more for the 32 GB system resulting in around 10% more FPS with 43 over 39 FPS. Though Hogwarts Legacy really eats RAM on any system if available for breakfast and more RAM really helps in stabilizing the 1% lows and stuttering in general. The experience is just much better with 32GB especially in more crowded areas than this forest. The integrated benchmark in Shadow of the Tomb Raider performed 8% faster on the 32GB system with 39 over 36 FPS meaning it also conf confirms the measurements that Jared's tech did a while ago. I was actually expecting The Last of Us to run much worse on the 16GB system, but to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it would crash every once in a while on the system on the left. Though for this test I got 34fps over 32fps for the 32GB system, resulting in a performance difference of 6%. In F1 2022 I saw around 7% more FPS on the 32GB system with 62 FPS over the 58 FPS of the 16GB system, while the frame time graph also seemed to be more fluid on the 32GB system. And last but not least a rather small difference of only 5% or 2 FPS for the medium settings with ultra textures and FSR in performance for Red Dead Redemption 2. And while we're at it, always use the highest texture settings your PC can handle for this game. 
it really has the highest optical impact in my humble opinion. And that's all for today, in fact the results have been pretty much what I've expected with some games benefiting much more than others and some games just crashing in general with higher settings. However, again in my opinion 16GB for iGPUs just isn't future proof in 2024, especially assuming RAM usage will go further up in the future and using high or ultra textures usually doesn't affect the performance that much but drastically improves the visual quality of games and high textures just need more VRAM which in that case is just regular RAM. All right. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing to the channel or even become a channel member for only 99 cents per month. See you next time, bye bye and tschüss.